Fish Guy Waves is super stoked because I'm fishing on my boat for the first time here in 2022. Uh, it's been a pretty cold winter here in Virginia Beach. Uh, today it's, it's gonna be like 71 degrees. It's near almost the end of February. Um, and have been busy with some other boat projects and other stuff, so super excited to get out. Water temperature's still mid 40s, pretty low, but the report's been, uh, the drum are hitting pretty good here in Rudy Inlet um, in deeper water. So we'll be throwing some kind of soft plastics with a slow jig, see if we can get on them. But it is absolutely beautiful today, 70 degrees. We'll see if we can get on them. All right, guys, so just getting out here, um, spot I wanted to go, there's like five people on a kayak and a boat like two feet away from each other, which I'd like to fish, but I'm not gonna be that guy. I'm trying to work off some docks now. Bringing the uh, jig out from the docks out to deeper waters, doing a slow jig here with this water temperature. Hopefully we'll land something here in a little bit. Literally gonna throw right on top of one right here. Just did. Ah! Oh, pulled it out. Saw him come up and hit it too. Definitely not one of those big ones, but it's better than nothing. Oh. I got a little one. Better than nothing. And I'm right on top of a school right here, so I think that's what they want. I'm working a real slow. There's one. That's a nice one right there. That's a nice one. Woo! That's a nice one. Where's my neck? That's a nice drum right there, guys. Beautiful drum. Get in here. Let's go. Let's go, guys. Beautiful drum. Yes, guys. Beautiful drum here. He's swelled. Ooh. Beautiful drum. Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. Let's get a measurement on him. He is uh, right at 22. Yep. He's going home tonight. All right, guys, just got back from the water here, finished up cleaning up the boat, and we're gonna get the red drum here and play him up. Um, show you guys how to fillet a red drum and then show you my favorite recipe uh, to cook up for red drum. All right, guys, we're gonna get the uh, official measurement on this guy. Before we fillet, he is right at 22 inches. Filleting a red drum is pretty straightforward. Like a lot of fish, cut it back through the back dorsal fin here, and then through the stomach, then through the spine. Most importantly though is, you definitely always wanna have a good fillet knife, because if you do not have a good fillet knife, you're technically gonna be trying to cut with a butter knife, which is not fun. So. And then we're gonna go on top behind the stomach here. Like so. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead, put our knife in through the back of the spine there, work our way down, you'll get each fillet like so. Like so, all the way back through the back of the tail, like that. And there will be your first fillet. There's our first fillet. Perfect, we're gonna go ahead and cut that rib cage off of it.
Then the same process for the other side. Work off the back of the fin, above the stomach. Same process for the other side, working right down the spine of the fish, all the way down to the back of the tail. Like so. There's our second fillet. All right guys, first step is we're gonna go ahead and spray our tin foil here. All right, these are the fillets from yesterday. We wanna give them a nice clean bath in cold water um, before we go ahead and put them on our pan. Give them a nice little dry, get that water off of them. Right down on that pan. On to the next one here. Do the same thing, it's a nice little bath. I cooked majority of my fillets, specifically red drum, with the skin on. Uh, we're going to cook it in the oven for about 20 minutes on 350, and that meat is going to come right off the skin. I'm going to coat the fillets in butter. I put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds. I'm going to go ahead and coat that, and then we're going to put our season on. Some people I know like using olive oil. I personally like using butter. Uh, just give a nice little glaze on both of the fillets. Not too much, not too little. And then we're going to put season on directly after that. So I am pretty straightforward um, in regards to seasoning a lot of my fish. Uh, of course, I use mostly lemon pepper. I do use a little Old Bay. Um, I know a lot of people use a lot of different spices. There's, of course, no uh, right or wrong way to do it, but that's personally the way I like doing it. Give a nice coat in lemon pepper. And then also like just doing a little kick of Old Bay, get that kind of Cajun taste on it. And then I also will just hit it with one little quick layer of pepper. The fish has been in for about 25 minutes on 350. Got a nice crisp to it. So we're going to go ahead and get a spatula and take the meat right off the skin itself. We've got our plate of uh, rice and broccoli now. We're just going to work literally that meat right off, a little hot, <laughs> the skin like so, a beautiful lay, just like that. Everybody likes their fish a little different, but I'm a big fan of putting a little tartar sauce on the side here. We're gonna do a little test here. This is fresh red drum caught a couple hours ago. Literally just pulled out of the oven here. Mm. Unbelievable, great white meat. Red drum's amazing. Appreciate you guys watching. If you don't mind subscribing, I appreciate it. We'll see you guys next time.